evening welcome to the beauty room as you're known as your girl dawn hello good evening everybody today is march 31st 2022 it is 8 09 p.m eastern standard time so how is your week how has it been is you are you are going to do something fun this weekend what you got plans hope you have something fun family fun planned or if your husband's um, way on business ladies wives enjoy your wonderful weekend by yourselves or if the children is going with the grandparents or with the aunts and uncles enjoy your you time if not enjoy yourself with the children and with the husband and guys do something fun with your family or or with your girlfriends or fiance or wives so tonight is going to be all about not my favorites but a begin beginner friendly makeup tutorial so um i hope you all had a great week how are you all how you been hope you all been doing good and well and blessed and grateful so i just did my eyebrows off camera so it won't be too long with the video so we're going to get right into the video and i'm going to tell you about these products that i used and that i ordered from shop miss a a few months ago like about two or three months ago so the first thing from shop miss a is the brightening eye cream you can use this in the daytime and night this is the brightening um, eye cream that goes right underneath your eye and it is one dollar so definitely make sure you shop shop miss a for anything you want for under your eyes and we're going to apply this on to under my eyes as well so this is with vitamin c so it's a very good thing it's improved the appearance of dark spots promotes healthy and brighter skin 15 minutes every day day and night with every whatever your morning skin routine is and also at night when you get off work or you just work from like nine to five if you know like a few days out of the week you can definitely make sure you have your makeup took it off you know before you get in the shower get your stuff already prepped and ready for bed or whichever or want to be colored up next to your man i understand so my man and i we are watching Bob's Burgers on like Netflix or Hulu. What is your favorite top TV shows? Um, we like from Hulu is Bob's Burgers so far. It's pretty good um, TV show. It's not bad. And also from Netflix, we love us uh, some Family Guy. Now that is definitely for adults. Children, that's not for you. That's only for adults. Like. You know, for your parents, aunts and uncles, or whichever, if they even watch Family Guy. But yeah, that's just for adults only and not for you all. So, sorry. <laughs> but, um, I just watched, uh, like, a few days ago, I just watched um, Disney+. Plus. I watched, the like, the newer Lion King that they just did. It's super cool. I just got done seeing that a few, a few days ago. So, that's a very good movie. Love that. And yeah, so it was nothing much I did this weekend or this week rather. Well, actually, I worked all this week. But I did have yesterday off. And today, oh, by the way, today is Thursday, March, March 31st, 2022. And it's after 8 p.m. So it's about 8.13 now. I just started doing the video. Hold on one second. Um, I just got done doing, I just started the video like at 8.05, so make sure you grab yourself a snack, thumbs up this video, make sure you grab yourself something to drink, tea, coffee, beer, or a glass of wine, or some skinny pop popcorn if you want, a little, you know, a little grab snack to eat, so yeah, make sure you take notes on whatever things that you may like in the video, definitely find on to Shop Miss A. Pearl Fusion Cosmetics. So those are the only things I'm going to really show you what I use. So, and then so far, this is another product by Shop Miss A. If you can find this on Shop Miss A website, it is called the Anti-Wrinkle um, Eye Cream. This is for smooth skin's texture to help signify, reduce the appearance of crow's feet and fine lines around the eye. So just about like right here. In here so like i said this is just a beginner friendly makeup tutorial but i'm just showing you what i do to prep my face before i apply any um any makeup to it so 
I just apply a small dot about that much but if you want to apply a little bit more you can and it just goes right here and you just smooth it out so this is for a dollar also on shop miss a's website i hope that you can find it and i probably just select the same amount like a tab it more onto my forehead and if i have extra left over on my forehead i just apply it like a rod along here so and it's supposed to work immediately but you can put this into your skincare routine in the morning and evening when you get off work you know or if you just had a lunch date with your man or with your girlfriends and you all went shopping on a nice shopping spree and then i put it like along here too on like my fine lines right here i put it along here because i do have them really bad as well you know as you as you get older in your 40s and mid 40s you want to or before you turn 40 you want to make sure you keep your skin very very cleansed with a great moisturizer or any beauty products i mean not beauty products but skincare products that you love that are name brand to you like number one name brand like clean and clear um i don't know if they have jergens but i know clean and clear you know oh, what else you know other stuff like that but which i would do a skincare routine product a uh, new stuff that i will be showing you all so look out for that future video so i just let this sit on my face for just a, a, a second or so a minute or so it can get like tacky but not too tacky you know so that way when i apply my concealer and foundation yes my the product that i just used you know so it won't you know look as bad so then we're going to now this is from la girls this is the pro concealer hd high definition this is you can find this like at your local beauty supply store you can go onto the la girl website um it's www.lagirlusa cosmetics i will put that in the description box below so you can go onto their website but definitely check out your local beauty supply store that you shop at for your hair your hair needs your makeup needs and you know anything like that you know so you want to make sure you check that out first before you go into the website so and I just applied just a tiny, oh, just a tiny bit. I squeeze the top first. Squeeze about that amount out, comes out. I just do like a little one, two, three, not too much. And they say concealer works as well. And I just use my finger. But if you have a concealer brush from Elf, it's a black brush. I say that brush is very, very good to use. I like the Elf concealer brushes and the black brush. Those are very good as well to use. Yep, and you just apply your concealer right onto your eyelids. And if you don't have hooded eyes like I do, you can apply the concealer all around. And this will definitely bring out your eye look. But tonight we're just doing a very simple eye look. And the foundation I'll show you what I'm going to be using as well. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I hope you all had a wonderful day. A wonderful blessed week. It, you know, I know you all worked all week. I know I did. We got one more day to the weekend. But I have to work all this weekend. So that's no problem to me. And yeah, and my hair was getting not bad. But you know, like the edges, the front edges and the sides and the back. And like in the middle. I just did a retouch up on my hair so it won't look you know bad you know I like to keep my hair up I like to definitely keep my hair up in braids so I won't have any problems um, with my hair and if Hamilton and I go out somewhere you know I won't look bad at all and you can also apply when you're done with your whole entire look your foundation your concealer you can definitely um, Apply some falsies to this look if you like to do that. I typically don't because um, I'm still trying to learn how to apply lashes. So you will be seeing me trying to apply lashes. So this is also from Shop Miss A. This is one of a good thing that I love to use for my face. This is a primer. This is by the AOA Studio Clean Slate Primer Face Primer. 
and this is also a dollar so i will definitely leave shop miss a link in the description box below and make sure that you subscribe so you will never miss a upload from me and yes i'm just gonna apply it just like this but not too much you know uh, you need just a few you know wherever you have large pores at i like to put it all on my face and definitely you want to put it onto your nose just rub it in make sure you got all the primer onto your face and just like that so make sure you are taking notes because there's no rules to makeup so you can apply your makeup any way you want you can use your fingers you know and then also if you just got some makeup brushes congratulations you know there are so many pretty spring looks that i want to do so look out for those future videos for spring makeup tutorials i'm still trying to work out a schedule for my youtube channel because i work like during the early afternoon until like 10 o'clock at night and i'm home by 10 15 10 30 but by the time i get home get myself in a quick quick shower you know and set up dinner for hamilton and i or there sometimes he does cook dinner or we do take out you know so you know we you know we you know we do our thing over here in our home you know but do what's best works for you in your family routine or your nightly routine and yeah so definitely connect with me on instagram at dawn martindale if you have any pre-wedding questions for us uh or if you're just getting married or if you just got engaged congratulations you just got married definitely congratulations also on that as well it's such a blessing to find your soulmate and to be married to marrying your soulmate like i am i'm truly blessed and grateful and i thank god for him every single day i pray for him more than i pray for myself i pray for my family and of course i pray for the beauty room family so if you subscribe congratulations and welcome to the beauty room make sure you turn on and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss an upload on videos from me the beauty room as dawn so this is a very good face primer for your face it's very good it goes on very very good as you've seen and when i put it on my skin it works very very good and if you are if your skin is sensitive make sure you look at products if you don't really shop online definitely if you go in inside the stores into the store i'm sorry if you go in in the stores make sure that you read all the directions you know how to apply it on and also it make sure if you're sensitive to certain face primers make sure you know they have certain things in there that will, that would not irritate your skin and you have to be in a hospital and all that stuff you know you don't want that but just make sure first before you buy any primer or anything foundation concealer anything like that make sure that that matches your skin number one the foundation and concealer and you always want to get a shade lighter so that way when you apply your eyeshadow to your to your eyes that way your color will come out more better you know when you apply a concealer or you can do a eyeshadow primer but if i'm a beginner in makeup I would use a concealer first so you can go either way concealer um, the concealer has to be a shade lighter than your eyelids and the eye shadow primer can be in the nude so that's basically like a primer set to your face and you also want to set your eyelids too as well because you don't want anything wet you know after you apply your concealer or uh, or your eye your eyeshadow primer on to your face so you always want to make sure you take any setting um setting powder that will match your um like the, sh the shade of your skin and you want to make sure that it will not cause any damage you know to your eyelids and i'm just using a a brush and i'm tapping and i'm just setting this on because you want to make sure that your setting powder sets onto your eyelids before you apply anything onto your eyelids so i mean after you apply your concealer i'm sorry after you apply your concealer or your eyeshadow primer i just want to set that um afterwards because if you don't set it and your eyelids are wet with the primer or concealer 
your eyeshadow look will not do you justice it won't look it'll come out right but it won't come out as how you like it because your eyes are not set you always want to make sure that you set your eyelids you know as well <clears throat> you definitely want to do that so now we can apply the foundation and And the foundation and concealer I'm um, using this foundation is called it's a matte finish. This is the Revlon Color Stay in 24 hours. You know, but women we don't wear foundation 24 hours. Maybe between you know three to eight hours or seven hours. You know, maybe even ten hours. You know, and your makeup still look flawless. But this is the 500. And this is the walnut, and then this combination to oily skin. And it also has a pump. I always make sure I have scissors, but I need to make sure I have a box cutter. That's what I need, a box cutter in here. I usually do, but I usually use the box cutter for work because I like, oh, hold on, wait a minute. One second. I think that came off. Okay, well, that's okay. We'll just go with it today. <laughs> this is just a beginner. But this has a pump, but the lid will not um, come off. But that's okay. But I'm just using, you know, this. And this foundation goes on my skin and my skin only. So it does not go on anybody's skin, like my friend's skin or anything like that. You know, no. I'm trying to find a... <laughs> I'm just going to do this. This is a foundation brush by e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is a dollar. So this is a foundation brush. And you just brush the foundation onto your skin. Just like this. And you can also, before you apply your foundation, you can also use a primer spray you know like from nyx you know it's called the bear um essentials it's in a clear um tall uh you know bottle not glass bottle but like a plastic bottle and it's um uh, it's by nyx it's called bear something but i'm gonna get it um before the video ends so i can show you what it looks like so, and you also want to make sure when you match your foundation, you want to make sure you can use a beauty sponge, um, you know, something like that, that'll, that won't make your foundation, you know, fade away, you know, from your skin. So you always want to make sure that you just, when you apply your foundation, just take your time, you know, take your time. Oh, and then what I have on my lips, if I can find it, it is not in here. Where is it? Oh, right here. <laughs> I pulled out for a reason. Now, this is from Shop Miss A. This is the, um, the Magic Lip Balm, Starries by Starry Magic Lip Balm, and this is in purple. And it's great, but it smells so good. Container is super duper cute. It's only like a dollar, so or it could be like a dollar eighty eight now. So you know, yeah. So it's super cute. It just makes your lips moisturized before you apply any like lipstick or anything like that. You know, to your any like lipstick or lip liner to your phone. You know, to your you know to your lips. So. You know, definitely make sure you get into that. So, and then you also want to make sure when you are a beginner in makeup, you want to make sure you have about two to three uh, mirrors. I have a main mirror right here that I got from Five Below. You know, it's very affordable. It's only five dollars, but there's probably certain things in in Five, five Below store that's a little over five now because things have went up. So. Definitely just make sure, you know, you uh, 
just check that also before you can also go into if you don't if you're not like a person that likes to go in the stores and you know um you can go, go shop online to five below um at, at www five and below or five below store now i think they haven't changed the name but i think it's called five and below or five below store so definitely make sure you check that out you have one main mirror here and you also have a handheld mirror too as well so that way you can check yourself out as well that'd be you know a lot easier for you whichever's convenient easy for you do you know do it you know do how you want to but if you're in a beginner in makeup you want to just make sure that you know your foundation matches your skin tone you like your neck you know so not your wrists you know your hand you know your wrist or your, i mean your, your, your wrist or your hand you want to make sure it matches your neck because so this matches my neck perfectly because it matches my, my skin tone and that was in 500 um walnut from revlon color stay you know i haven't bought any makeup in a while i've been doing pretty good because hamilton i uh, and if you did not know that if you did not know that or if you're new to my channel or if you just subscribe god bless you thank you so much and again welcome to the beauty room and yes he is my fiance we're getting married in four more months so i'm still trying to figure out what foundation and what look you know my friend mary's gonna do for me for my wedding day and since um my bridal shower didn't happen my good best friend she got um she had a death in the family and plus um she just had um shoulder surgery onto her shoulder so to her right so which i completely understand you know i've been checking on her and stuff calling her make sure she doesn't need anything or if she or she does you know not need anything not need anything let me see if she needs anything she can definitely call hamilton and i you'll be there in a heartbeat for her so yeah so just take your time as you apply your foundation and look this is a very good onto my skin yes so now i'm done with that going to put this brush right here and put this right here so it won't be in my way and so now i'm going to apply the concealer and this is also from shop miss a it's by uh, amuse and this is in i want to say terracotta 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 but it's just like and then it's like the number six but they have one through six or one through eight no i think one through six it's only for like a dollar and it matches my skin very very well and it has like a perfumey smell so just be careful as you apply and you want to make sure when you apply your concealer you can make sure it's aligned all the way down to your nose that's just how i do you just do what's comfortable for you and i make sure i spread it out like a little bit more i just go like that and then i'll put another dog and see like right there and right there and that is all i apply my concealer on i just i usually just do underneath my eyes but you know now i just want to do this video to let you know how to really do it but do what's best for you and do what's comfortable for you because this is the makeup is going on to your skin so just apply where you think you know you want to look flawless at very pretty at because you are very pretty no matter what so remember that ladies you know you don't you know make sure you have confidence in yourself you know you're a very pretty person no matter what in the inside and as well as the outside never let nobody tell you that because when i was coming up and like not coming up but as an adult even as an adult when i was in my 20s i had my ex boyfriends thing out there my ex now but um when i was dating them we were dating they used to always call me ugly i'm too dark you know i'm not their type and you know i'm just like okay well why are you with me then if i'm not your type you know i'm just using quotations because they think i was just too dark <laughs> i'm just like whatever i'm like i know i'm beautiful on the inside and outside i have a good spirit i love to help people 
And if you don't want to be with me and rock with me, then we need to break up. Or, you know, there's times I would break up with them because that's not what my life was, you know, was about, you know, then. You know, so, but, you know, we all have, you know, our breakups or our relationships, bad relationships, good relationships, you know. And, and women, you know, and if you met your soulmate in college, that is such a blessing because, you know, you you uh you found your soulmate you met your soulmate you know so you know there's no you know that's and that's a blessing and you've been with him for over 20 years over or 30 years you know you have six kids eight kids you know that's that that is truly a blessing and now you got grandchildren you know so that is such a blessing you know don't let life or things get in your way of your dreams and goals you want to go get your GED and you're 45 or 40 or even going on 50, you know, and you dropped out of high school back in the day, you know, go ahead and get your D, your GED because that's a blessing to get your GED. You know, whatever dreams and goals you have, or if you want to open up a cupcake restaurant or a donut restaurant or a cookie restaurant, you know, and you've been a business manager for so many years, you know, don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody stop you. Okay, so now since we did that, I got to find a beauty blender. One second. I'm back. Okay, so, yeah, so if you have any dreams and goals, you know, go get them. Don't let nobody stop you. Only the person stopping you is yourself, okay? And since I put it right here, I'm not going to bake, so, you know, I'm, I'm not going to bake, but if you want to bake, you can, but I just don't bake because, you know, I don't need to. This makeup is about to come right off. I shouldn't have done with this video, but I just want to show you what I do to my face. And I'm looking in the mirror and talking to you all at the same time. So, I just want to let you know to see what I'm doing. And this is a beginner-friendly makeup tutorial. I hope you all at liking this video so far. Give it a thumbs up. Share this video with your family and friends. Tell them all about a YouTube channel that's doing some awesome makeup tutorials. This is the beauty room. And I'm just... A person that to like to inspire other people you know I, I love to inspire other people other people that want to start a YouTube channel or you know even if it's not a YouTube a vlog or whichever you know you're um, scared or you know you're thinking you're not gonna get any views or likes trust me you will yes you will you have faith trust tr faith trust and belief in yourself you will you got this you know never let never so you don't have it because you do. You have the talent. You have the dreams. You have the goal. Go out there and get it. Okay, so this is basically done. So that's all I do to my face as a beginner friendly. So you want to take a beauty sponge just like this I was telling you about in the beginning or the middle of the video. And if you just tuned into the video, hello and welcome to another video. Thank you. Thank you for rocking with me if you've been... An original subscriber, if you're a new subscriber and you just subscribe, God bless you again. Thank you all so much because you, you do not know what it means to me when I get new subscriber because I am truly blessed and grateful for what I can do to with my talents that I had to show people what I can do, you know. And I'll get that brush later. But yeah. Time for the palette. Time for the palette. Now this is um nude bliss. This is the new nude bliss um, eyeshadow palette. It's 21 shades in here. It's I want to say about $12.98 retail price at your local Walmart. And let's see if it has the names in the back. Yes, it has the display of the eyeshadow palette, the name on it. So it does not have any um, na um, names on the plastic, but that is okay so we're just taking the plastic off for just a moment and 
with mostly profusion. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you. This is a profusion cosmetics eyeshadow palette 21 shades that's in here. It's usually about $12.98 or more. But it's about $12.98 retailing at your local Walmart. So check out your local Walmart. If you did not have it at your Walmart, definitely go on to www.profusioncosmetics.com. Because that is like my all-time favorite website that I love to shop at. And I'll do a future video <laughs> on everything that I have in Profusion Cosmetics. That may be part one or part two or just an all-in-one video because I have a lot of perfumes and cosmetics that's how much i love profusion someday one day i will have a sponsor so i'm praying on that i'm praying on a lot of success for my youtube channel oh and this long sleeve shirt that i got i got this for walmart a year or two uh, a couple of years ago on um, retail um clearance price so definitely check out your, your like i said your local walmart for your clearance and clothing as well because they have some amazing clearance stuff for clothing as well you know for shoes clothing anything that you want makeup you know so yeah so the first shade we shall go with it's called yeah, outlaw right here so we're just gonna take you also want to make sure you tap and you just apply right here and then also will definitely give you the color onto your eyelids when you want to use a eyeshadow primer or a concealer so now we're going to go with in another shade but i want to make sure before i go into the shade i want to make sure that this blend, blends out very very good and i just take the same brush that i'm using to just blend it i'm just putting it on my eyelid not anywhere um, else or above my eyelid because i really want this look to come out It looks like it's coming out really, really good the way that I want to. Okay, so now we're going to take a, another color. Now, this one is called Sista, which is right here, right next to the Outlaw. You want to just always tap any excess of any eyeshadow that you have onto your brush. If you... Because if, if you don't, you're going to have double act, you know, double eyeshadow onto your eyelid. And you don't want that onto your eyelid. So you just want to just make sure that you take your time with applying your eyeshadow. You think like that. And I'm just using, I already used two colors so far. And I'm going to leave it just like this because this is just a... A, um, a beginner friendly makeup tutorial on just on using two shades but if you want and you're not a beginner to makeup you can add more shades if you like but if you're in my skin tone complexion or lighter than me you could definitely use more than two but for me because since I have hooded eyes and if you have hooded eyes you can use one to two or even three um, eye, um, eyeshadows onto your eyelid so yeah so what i have so far it's very good for me i i'm gonna leave it just like that but i'm i want to apply like a darker shade it's like right here at the corner but i'll get that in a minute just want to make sure i have this all how i want it it looks very very good so now i'm going to apply that darker shade and it's called cozy right on i'm using the same um brush so Oh, I forgot to tap. Oh my goodness. So, so when you apply darker shade, make sure you tap. <laughs> tap any excess that you have off. I mean, onto the brush. So. Just 
wow this looks very very good so if you want to um apply any other shades you can i just use three so i normally do not use three i only use two and then call it a day and that's it but since i want to show you i definitely wanted to apply um more than uh, more than two shades so we're gonna go over this eye now this may be on your left but it's on my right so we're gonna go again with outlaw first which is right here outlaw and definitely pick up this eyeshadow palette because the pigmentation, wow. It is like, wow. It is amazing. It's, it's beautiful. I'm like, wow. But, you know, certain shades on my on my eyelids and my skin tone does not look good on me. On me but I, I'm just so harsh on myself. And I need to stop being harsh on myself and go and just be bold and just look fierce and good. You know for me you know because there's nothing wrong with trying different brighter you know eyeshadow palettes onto your skin tone whatever skin tone that you are but if you're lighter than me then then just do what you do do what's best works for you okay but this is just a beginner friendly you know type of makeup tutorial and i hope you are liking it taking notes you know you know if you like the tips that i'm showing you or giving you advice you can definitely follow these or you know if you have your own you know definitely do that and now i'm going into sister it's right here so and i'm just applying it right above the eyelid that i just applied so you can go like out out to your corner like right here and then just blend in blend in and out blend in and out out and just like a windshield wiper motion and then you can also tap before you know you apply and then blend the both shades so you won't have any like lines or anything like that you know so yeah and i think that looks very good and now i'm going to apply that darker shade called cozy which is right here so, and just right here, the corner. This is your corner. You can touch your brush with your uh, with your eyelid, and you can feel that bone. So when you feel that, just go very, very, not too hard. Just make sure it's in there, mixed in with any other eyeshadow. Which when you apply the 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 first two, make sure everything is blended well. And there's no right or wrong way to hold a brush. Put it like this. Put it like this. You know. No, definitely look at some YouTube videos. Look at some YouTube gurus. You know, uh, YouTube gurus. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, can I talk right? You know, which whichever person that you like to uh, listen to on YouTube. But I hope you like you liking and listening to me. <laughs> so, you know, I'm I'm a woman still too. I mean, of course, I'm a woman, but I'm still learning too as well. So we're all learning and learning together, you know. So yes, so that is done for the blending and how to apply the eyeshadow. Now we are going to go in with a color. You can just definitely use um definitely make sure you can definitely use you know when you apply like your uh, any shade, you can definitely make sure you use some good some good brushes. From Elf went wild, or you can go onto the site. Um, beauty bar is called Beauty. No, I'm sorry, not Beauty Bar. Be, um, beauty Bay. Definitely make sure you can go onto that site. They got some eyeshadow palettes there, and also um, makeup brushes. Definitely go onto Sheen website. It's very affordable, very reasonable for your buck. You know, for your coins. So you can definitely check out those websites as well. I, I'm gonna leave everything in the description box that I said into this video so i want to do a highlight underneath my brows so i'm going to go with uh it's called kurtz which is right here right there and i'm just putting it like right above my brow not too too you know crazy on it just to give it a look mm. okay 
and you're just going to depart just a little bit not too much you know you don't want to go too harsh with this you want to just apply it just like right here you know when you apply it because you don't want it too 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 shiny okay so that's that and now i'm going you, you know because you what you can do is mix too as well you can mix um any uh, if you want to do a shimmer um this is a this is a glitter right here this is called cap capabate capitative capitative or something like that i hope i'm saying it right because my brain right now is very tired or you can do a shimmer which is called wifey and studio so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna mix two in so i'm gonna go with studio and i'm gonna go with glorious but i'm gonna do a swatch so you can see uh, how wifey looks i'm just going with that i'm gonna put it like right at the corner like right in the inner corner of my right here you can also get your brush wet as well so you can definitely get that shimmer look that you want right at the corner onto your eyelids so again i'm just going in with gorgeous and studio and i'm just applying it right at the inner of my corner because you can bring it out more when you wet your brush as well. So, and you can definitely use a smudge brush too to apply the same colors underneath your eyelid. So that's what I'm going to do. Apply the same colors, just, just probably just one, actually just one. So I'm going to go with Outlaw. So it can get the inner corner like right there. So you want to just apply with a really good brush, a smudge brush to show you. Actually, I should do that anyway. This is a e.l.f. smudge brush. This will be better. Uh, so you definitely want to use a smudge brush that looks like this. And you want to just make sure you're applying... The same colors that you apply to your lid, eye, your lid, your eyelid, underneath your eyes. And then after that, you want to apply your mascara to your top and bottom. So now we're gonna close this up because we're done with this palette. Okay, so I think I did pretty good. Well, with me not doing makeup the last few days and working so much like I like I'm doing, whew, insane. So now, like I said, um, if you're going out, you know you can definitely apply any you can apply any lashes that you want that'll you know work out for you. So, but this is also. For a while, some shop Miss A. I'm telling you, my shop Miss A. Wow, wow, this must be a shop Miss A video. But um, these are the mascaras. This is for your lower and this is for your upper um, eyelids. I mean, your your mascara, mascara for <laughs> your lashes. My God, please excuse me. Let me stir that over. These two products are from shop Miss A for a dollar each, and they are very good. You may have to apply a couple of times just to get the the precise, you know, mascara uses that you want for your lashes. So you may want to apply just a few times. So we're going to start off with the bottom. And this is a very small, skinny um, brush for your bottom. So you definitely want to make sure also as well when you apply your mascara make sure you take your time to your bottom and to your upper
so that is for your bottom and then this is for your top so you can do a couple co um, coats of mascara to your top and your bottom and it will give you the effect that you want so Ooh. make sure that you do not mess up your eyes oh my goodness be very careful with applying mascara to your own lashes you know take your time i put myself almost twice wow <laughs> i'm i fucking myself with my mascara i don't know <laughs> uh i'm a goofy i'm gonna come on video very goofy but yeah And then just apply this a couple times just to get that effect that you want to with if you want to wear your own lashes you can definitely do that or definitely apply some falsies some, some nice eyelashes you know if you're a natural girl you know apply some nice um falsies with a thick band and then a really good um eyelash glue like duo glue you know duo is a good one or kiss you know super eyelash glue that's a good one with the gold um, top that's a very good one that's the number one uh, eyelash glue that I highly recommend and duo and one for shop miss a I highly recommend as well if I can find it nope I don't see it right now but it's underneath here some other products that I have to deal with shop miss a and I'm almost done so yep then this will be it for the the beginner really makeup tutorial i hope you all liked <laughs> give it a try let me see the looks that you create with the new bliss from the eyeshadow palette from profusion cosmetics onto my instagram i would love to see it the inspiration that you uh, um that you done i would love to see the makeup look because as you can see i love makeup i love it i have an addiction with makeup I think makeup is so much fun to put on. It's girly, you know. It gives you the confidence, you know, or extra, you know, not confidence. It gives you extra confidence, okay? There's nothing wrong with having extra confidence in yourselves. So we're going to put that away. And now we're going to, one second, got to stand up. Okay. Move my chair back. Okay. Move my chair back. Okay, so now. We are going to put some eyebrow gel. This is, I'm trying to say, I'm used. Professional brow gel. And this is in a clear. I just use a clear because it basically just makes sure that your eyebrows stay in place all day and all night. I love that. Now, I don't really apply a whole lot, so. I just don't. So that is it for that one. And I'm going to also apply a black eyeliner to this look. This is a gel eyeliner. Creamy gel eyeliner. This is from Amore as 
that's a, also a very good website as well and I just put this black right underneath my eye line just to give it a more dramatic effect or look So yeah, that's that. And I also will take my towel and then definitely make sure you take any excess, any lip liner that I'm not lip liner, but any lip uh, lip scrub or lip mask or lip oil that you use. Make sure you do that. And we're going to apply. Let's see. What do I want to put on? You know, we're going to apply these two. This is from BH Cosmetics. This one is called T. This is a comfort lipstick. And we're going to also use the lip the lip gloss. It's called LA Colors Shine. I mean High Shine lip gloss and shea butter. So we're going to put apply these two lip combos together. And we're going to apply a eyeliner, I mean a lip liner, and this one is called Sable. This is from, um, you can get this like a Dollar General or from family dollar even dollar tree dollar tree have lip liners too as well when i do my lip liner i like to go kind of thick you know a little bit above i guess your lip liner and then i take a brown this is from essence this is just a chocolate in chocolate and sorry yep and hot chocolate excuse me and zero two you can get this at your ulta beauty store or you can get it onto essence um website I like to take both of them. I know that's a weird combo, but that's just me. But I like to take that, but take the other one first. So now that I have that like that, so I know it's a lot, you know, to have two lip lines. I mean, two lip liners on your lip, but that's just my preference, what I like to do. But you can take um, a dark uh, chocolate from, you can get from Morphe. They have some very nice lip liners as well for any skin tone that you are. That'll work very, very good as well. Yes, this look will definitely look bomb with some um, eyelashes. So, definitely take heed of that. But I just like to do... I just like to um, wear lipstick. Before I got cut off, I'm, I'm just applying the... It's called Cashmere Cream. BH Cosmetics um, T. This is just a lipstick. I don't apply too much to it. So you just like that is very good to me. Not bad. So I can put that back there. And now we're going to apply the lip gloss. And the look will be done.
and yeah wow hope you like this look give it a try definitely like i said give me a makeup look onto your look onto my instagram at don martindale and then that's all you need just a few sprays make sure you when you um set your spray too and if you're a beginner makeup make sure that you um spray it away from you at least six to eight feet away from you okay and take your fan, whatever fan that you have, from Amazon or a Dollar Tree one. You know, definitely you can definitely do that. Ooh. And yes, voila. This look is basically done. What do you all think? Let me get closer. I hope you liked it. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. If you did, turn on and hit that notification bell. God bless you all. Thank you so much for being um, an inspiration to me. Because you all are from the Big Room family. You are an inspiration to me. Yes. So, God bless you all. I love you all. Stay safe. Stay encouraged. Dream big. Whatever dreams and goals that you have. Because you can do it. I know you can. I have faith in you. You have faith in yourself. Your family has faith faith in you. So God bless you all. Have a blessed and wonderful weekend. See you in the next video. Bye.